Hello folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. Just a short couple recipes I got out of this book. Fashionable Foods of the Seven Decades. That's from World War I until the 90s. So I did something simple. I had broccoli and cauliflower with a light sesame seed dressing. I had shrimp, glazed shrimp from the 1950s that's peeled and with little tails on them with a nice glaze that you can make from ketchup and a little bit of honey. I don't like to cook and film at the same time. It drives me nuts. But you see the result? How nice that came out? I always have two pounds of shrimp always in my freezers in separate bags. I got like 10 bags of shrimp so I can enjoy a nice shrimp dinner and then pasta okay that's just plain pasta and mushroom with onions let me peel back the pasta so you can see the mushrooms and I have some leftover tongue I threw in there because I can't eat shrimp all the time so that's a nice dinner all the recipes are from this book. Okay. I like to study things from the past. I like to recreate things. If I can duplicate it, modify it, like duplicating money, like duplicating firearms. My passion right now is PDFs, personal defense weapons. Because a lot of people look at me like, what are those, Uncle Al? You need to go back to college. Basic personal defense weapon is a handgun. All right. Since I can't show you all the things around here because YouTube was, goes insane every time, I figure out ways to go around it. All right. So let's open up the phone right here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, whoops, that's not, that's not too good. Let's find a better picture. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go. Now, I, you can find this on my Pinterest site under Alan Sato. Right there, and I always look at things like beyond other people and weapons design. Okay, now the big thing is I pull it up. Okay. Big thing is is taking a handgun and fitting it out with another system so you can make that into a small carbine like weapon but it's still a pistol all right all you have to have is the right parts now once it's fitted out with this you could shoot farther normally a handgun's only good we change colors only good for maybe seven yards 21 feet. Most people just shoot off their penis. Okay, but that will get you, whoops. That will get you up to 40 yards. All right, that's better than nothing. Don't look at the scope. The scope's just, that's stupidity. Okay, well, I can shoot farther than that. <laughs> All right, a lot of people put stocks on these handguns and think, oh, I have a carbine now. No, I have a machine gun now. No, it's out of your realm of understanding mechanics and ergonomics. Every time I say to that to people, I get the eyes rolled back and they look at me like, I don't understand. Why can't we boil water in a metal cup with rings? 
uh, because heat expands the rings and it collapsed and all you did was boil four ounces of water. Well, I could use that in an emergency situation. This is why I'm kind of doesn't talk to people a lot. Okay, uh, let's click that off. Put that over there. I prefer keeping it simple. I'll use a canteen cup. Put the cup on the fire, boil. That's at least a half a pint of water. One pint, two cups. Okay, my canteen cup, I measured a whole cup and a half of boiling water. So that's enough for making coffee or sterilizing water and putting into a canteen. Then refilling it and do that again. All right, not rocket science, folks. Keep it simple. Like tonight's dinner. And you have a nice day. And I'll catch you later. And like I said, do something fun. Okay? Tomorrow is March 1st and all hell breaks loose. So think about it. You know, I just old Uncle Al here chatting with you. Having a nice conversation. Explaining things, what's going on. And please do not panic. If you get a chance, go visit to your charitable thrift store and clean out all their camping gear. All right? Be nice, polite, help your fellow man, and you have a nice day, and I'll see you later. Night, folks.